Taking up a hobby is an excellent way to make time for yourself. Many people enjoy taking up a hobby that takes them outside and allows them to enjoy the sunshine, such as photography, geocaching, and even painting or drawing landscapes. Still others enjoy taking up hobbies that get them out of the house, but still out of the outside, which they do not personally enjoy. These hobbies may include dancing, collecting antiques or other collectibles, quilting, and even writing. For fun, not profit. Whatever hobby you choose, make sure that you actually put the effort into learning the hobby and also making the time to practice and actually enjoy the benefits from the hobby. In order to learn about many of the hobbies mentioned and many of the others that exist, you may have to take a class or two. But community colleges offer very affordable classes on photography, painting, drawing, dance, and even writing. Usually these classes are only a few weeks long and are very enjoyable experiences. These classes should not be seen as a stressor or something that you have to do, but instead should be seen as the first step into practicing a hobby that you will thoroughly enjoy and be solely yours. Once you have learned all about your hobby, then you must actually make time to take advantage of your education and enjoy your actual hobby. For the busiest of people, it often easiest to schedule time to practice their hobby beforehand. Again, put the appointment in your PDA, Outlook calendar, or any other item or piece of technology that you use to manage your schedule and then keep the appointment. Do not book another appointment you are supposed to practice your photography. Do not schedule a lunch date with someone when you are supposed to go to the park and sketch a landscape or two. Most people find it easiest to schedule their hobby practicing time on the weekends when work is not demanding or at least less demanding like it is during the rest of the week. However, many people find that once they have gotten used to practicing their hobby most weekends, that they do enjoy adding another additional day to practice it as well or to do something regarding their hobby. For instance, many people who enjoy quilting may dedicate Saturday to a full day of quilting, but may take one night a week to go to a fabric store or to look up new patterns to try the following Saturday. Adding an hour or two dedicated to your hobby will help you remember the benefits of your hobby throughout the week and will cause you to look forward to the weekend even more.